Dutch Cargo and his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot in another exciting adventure, The Mystery of the North Woods. Clutch and company returned from their last adventure to write another chapter in Clutch's adventure logbook. After completing it, a telegram arrived asking Clutch to please come to Whipple's camp and help solve the mystery in the North Woods. Clutch and company wasted no time and were soon on their way. Frank Whipple and his wife, Amanda, have been friends of mine for many years, Spinner. They're fine people. I know you'll like them. I know we will. Eh, hey, Paddlefoot? I don't know what the trouble is yet, but we'll find out soon. There's the landing strip right near the logging camp. And somebody's in that jeep waiting for us. That's Frank, Spinner. I'd know him from any distance. Check safety belts. We're coming in. Clutch boy, I knew you'd come. Always could count on you. Amanda'll sure be glad to see you. You're her favorite. Hey, come on, get in. Your telegram sounded pretty urgent, Frank. Having trouble? Trouble's a little word, but I got lots of it. Mysterious thieving trouble. Something or somebody's stealing more than half of our lumber before we can even get it to the sawmill. You mean the logs are disappearing right off your log train? Shucks, no, Clutch. That train's so old and so small, she'll only make one trip a day. That's how we get our logs to the sawmill. Float them. That river goes through the mountain in an underground tunnel, then flows right past the mill. That's about ten miles farther on. Anybody else cutting timber near here? A feller named Axel Handel was, but he cut his timber all down a while back. I hear he's still around. That's a new one. Timber rustlers. You mean like cattle rustlers? Same thing, Spinner. Only they're rustling logs. How long has this been going on, Frank? We first noticed it about a month ago. Since then, we've lost about 150 logs a day. You can't make money like that. Right. I pay my men to cut them down and get them in the river, then they disappear. Look! There's a big tree falling now. Timber! Why did he yell timber? The law of the woods, Spinner. That's the way one woodsman warns another woodsman that a tree's falling. Gives everybody time to get out of the way. Do they always do that? Always, Spinner. That's the law of the woods. We're here. There's Amanda now. Land sakes, Clutch. Didn't think we'd ever see you again. My, I'm glad you could come. And this must be Spinner you wrote about. What a nice young man. Mm, mm, mm. Oh. Oh. And your nice dog, Paddlefoot. Land of Goshen, you must be hungry. Come on in. Thanks, Amanda, but we've eaten. I'd like to look around a bit. Why not take the train? She's got up steam. There she is, Clutch. All yours to run. May I ride in the engine cab with you, Clutch? Sure thing, Spinner. Board. As I remember, there's a high train bridge we cross. Yep, here it is. As the little train starts across the bridge, we're Clutch and Company blown to bits. Be sure to tune in for the next exciting episode with Clutch Cargo. Clutch Cargo and his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot in another exciting adventure, The Mystery of the North Woods. You remember last time, Clutch and company flew to the North Woods to Amanda and Frank Whipple's logging camp. They had just started out on Whipple's train to have a look around when... Dynamite Spinner. Someone dynamited the trestle. Oh, that brake tight, Spinner. Don't let her back up. I've got to pry that last car loose. I'll take this bar and disconnect it. Hold tight. We're holding as tight as we can, Clutch. If I can undo that coupling. <laughs> Way. There. You did it, Clutch! Hooray! We did it, Spinner. You, Paddlefoot, and I. Now, let me ease. 
the throttle forward. Do you think somebody did that on purpose? I'm sure of it. I could smell the dynamite powder. Somebody besides Frank and Amanda knows we're here. And why? You're going to have to be careful from now on. We're here, Todd. There's the mill. Right, Spinner. This machine works automatically. It runs itself. The log moves back and forth on that cradle. Then the saw cuts it into boards. Pardon me, sir. My name's Cargo. We just arrived on Whipple's train, but somebody dynamited the trestle. Now we can't get back to camp without climbing that mountain. And that'll take too long. Is there a phone here? Phone's out to order. So you think somebody dynamited the trestle, yeah? I never heard a thing. But say, why don't you use the cable car? It'll get you across the river. It's easy going from there. Well, thanks for your help, Mr. Uh... Handle. Actual handle. Good luck. Thanks. Let's go, Spinner. Spinner. Whee! This is fun! Spinner! Jump! Spinner, do you know how close you came that time? You both could have been cut in two. Golly! I'm glad you saw us in time. Spinner, don't ever play near an electric saw. They're always dangerous. Now we'll run the train back to the cable car landing and leave it there. Thanks again, Mr. Hatch. Well, he's gone. What? Do you think I could be the engineer? I think so. I'll show you what to do. That's the throttle. Pull it out and the train moves. You know where the brake is. And this is reverse. With Spinner, the engineer at the throttle, the little puffer starts in reverse and soon... Here's the cable car landing. This is going to be like one of those cable cars in the Alps. The mountains in Switzerland. You and Paddlefoot climb in. I'll get in and pull this lever. We stop it when we get to the other side. We're ready, Clutch. Let's go. Golly! It looks awful far down there. It is, Spinner. That water's running fast. What the... The car stopped. Look, Clutch! That man, he stopped it. And he's cutting the cable. Can Clutch and Company survive the hundred foot fall? Be sure to tune in for the next exciting episode with Clutch Cargo. Clutch Cargo and his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot in another exciting adventure, The Mystery of the North Woods. You remember last time, Clutch and company safely crossed the dynamited trestle and arrived at the sawmill where they met Axel Handel. To return to camp, they had to use the cable car as it neared the middle of the river. Hold on to the sides. What a fall. Knocked the wind out of me. You okay, Spinner? Paddlefoot? Yeah. Yes. We're okay. I'm glad this thing's got a bottom in it. And here's a board I can use for a paddle. There's Mrs. Whipple. She's gonna throw us that rope. Good shot, Amanda. Now, can you pull us in? almost halfway across when Spinner saw this man cutting the cable. Land sakes, Clutch. That's terrible. I'm sure glad I was driving by. What did he look like? It happened so fast I didn't get a good look, but I'll bet Paddlefoot will know him. <coughs> Lousy, that's an awful experience. Let's get home. I'd rather you'd take us to the plane, Amanda. I think we'd better look around from the air. 
Just as you like, Clutch. Hop in. When we heard that explosion, Frank just knew something had happened to the trestle. We were worried about you and Spinner. It wouldn't surprise me if the same person who dynamited the trestle also cut the cable. Look for anything unusual down there, Spinner. I'll watch this side. Clutch and company cover every foot of the wooded area, looking for any clue as to the whereabouts of the missing logs. All those logs in the river look like little matchsticks. Look at them disappear in the tunnel. That's it, Spinner. That's what's been happening to the logs. Look how many logs float into the tunnel and how few come out. There's the answer. We're going down to have a closer look. I taxied the plane closer to the camp so we won't have so far to walk. A little walk will feel good, Clutch. Come on, Paddlefoot. Now that we know where the logs are disappearing, we've got to find out how. And the only way I can figure it, I've got to go through that tunnel. But how? Maybe we could go through in a canoe. Or a rowboat. No, Spinner. Water's too fast and those logs are so big they'd crush our boat. And besides, whoever's taking those logs would see us in a boat. We've got to do this without being seen. What's the matter, boy? Clutch! That tree! It's falling on us! Can Clutch and company avoid being crushed? Be sure to tune in for the next exciting episode with Clutch Cargo. Clutch Cargo and his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot in another exciting adventure the mystery of the North Woods. You remember last time, Clutch and company, while searching from the air, discovered that Whipple's logs were disappearing inside the river tunnel. Clutch wanted a closer look as they walked from the plane back to camp. Spinner, Paddlefoot, did it hit you? No. We were more scared than anything. The tree was bare right here. That tree was aimed at us on purpose, Spinner. Someone knew we'd be along this path coming from the plane. How do you know, Clutch? The law of the woods, Spinner, remember? Whoever cuts a tree always yells timber. I didn't hear anyone yell. Paddlefoot warned us. And just in time. Anyway, we're safe. And this fallen tree gives me an idea. You mean for going through the tunnel? What's this about the tunnel? That's where your logs are going. That's what I told you, Clutch. Go, ding it. That's the way we get them to the mill. Frank, you don't understand. Your logs are going into the tunnel, but they're not all coming out. That's right, Mr. Whipple. We saw them from the air. That's why I want to go through it. But you can't, Clutch. Nobody's ever been in there. Somebody has, and I'm going to find out who. Those logs aren't disappearing by themselves. How are you going to do it? That river's mighty dangerous. We'll hollow out a log and ride in it then float through the tunnel. Real Indian style? Oh, boy! You don't have to hollow out a log. Now, if you got your mind made up, there's one on the riverbank all fixed. Some of my men were gonna make a boat. Good, that'll save time. Sure wish I could go with you, but you'll have to lay flat and it won't hold two men. I'll have to take Spinner and Paddlefoot. Someone has to watch one side while I watch the other. There she is, Clutch. You just about have room. Frank, tell your men to chop an X on both ends of your logs. We'll need it for proof. Like a brand, huh? I'll do it right now. And Spinner, you'll help me make a cover for our log boat out of tree bark. Clutch and company work fast, and the log cover is finished. Everything's ready, Clutch. Logs are all marked. Good. Let's roll her into the water. Now. Pull the cover down. 
Good luck, boys. The cover is put in place, and slowly the log boat, with Clutch and company inside, starts its journey. Be ready to take some bumps, Spinner. We're almost surrounded by other logs. Time passes slowly for Clutch and company, but finally they enter the tunnel. It's pretty light in here, Clutch. No wonder. Lanterns on the walls. And look. Up, up goes the log boat and rolls on the truck. So this is how they've been stealing Frank's logs. The driver starts the motor and away goes the truck. What a ride. Wonder where we're going. I don't know, but I wish we were there. You got your way, Spinner. The truck stopped. One by one, the logs are sawed. And what's this? Clutch's log boat is next. Will Clutch and company be cut by the giant saw? Be sure to tune in for the next exciting episode with Clutch Cargo. Clutch Cargo and his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot in another exciting adventure, The Mystery of the North Woods. You remember last time, Clutch and company used an old hollow log for a boat and began floating downstream amongst the other logs, right through the tunnel. Their boat was pulled up on a truck and taken to the mill. Spinner, we're on the sawmill cradle. The saw is cutting into our boat. Come on, Spinner, jump out! So there you are, Clutch Cargo. You found out where Ripple's logs are gone. That's right. Get back, Spinner. You'll never live to tell it! Watch! Whipple's train pulls up outside, the trestle having been fixed. The villain makes a dash for the log truck, yelling as he leaves. I'll fix you! I'll burn down the whole woods! Are you all right, touch boy? Look at him go. Come on, we've got to catch him. He's going to set the whole forest on fire. We'll take the train. Good. Get us into the camp, then to the plane. We'll spot that truck easy from the air. But Clutch, if he starts a fire, how are we going to put it out? When we get to camp, we'll hook that water wagon on the jeep and bring it to the plane, tie it underneath, and water bomb the fire. Frank, you and Amanda watch the plane. And when you see it circling, come as fast as you can. You'll know we've spotted it. OK, Clutch, we'll do it. Here we are. Fastest trip this whole train ever made. Clutch and company with Frank Whipple speed over the rough road and arrive at the airstrip. Clutch quickly attaches the water tank to the underside of the plane. Watch the plane every second, Frank. If we have to water bomb, you'll see the tank fall. Then come a-running. Leave it to us, Clutch. So long and good hunt. Clutch! The treetops! We're overloaded! Maybe. We'll stay on this side of the river, Spinner. Axle handle can't get across without the cable car, and that's not running. I'm the bombardier, Clutch. I'm holding the rope. Good boy, Spinner. If we need to, I'll say, bombs away. There's the plane. I'm watching, Frank. For several minutes, Clutch flies the plane along the river. Nothing yet, Spinner. How about you? See anything? Not yet. Axle handle is at this moment trying to start a fire. And look, he's done it. Uh-oh. Look there to your right. Smoke. It sure is, Clutch. And it's not from a chimney. I can even see his jacket. He's circling around just ahead there. Keep going, Frank. Steady, Spinner. We're almost on target. Get ready. Bombs away. The water bomb falls. Right on target. Perfect, Clutch. We did it. Now for a fast landing. Steal my timber, will you? You got more coming than just a bath. He's the timber rustler, all right. We just picked up this forest ranger on the road. He knows him. Right. We've been looking for Axel Handel for two years. 
He's wanted for timber rustling and a lot more. And we've solved the mystery of the Northwoods. Now, Amanda, there's just one more thing we want. Land sakes, Clutch. What's that? We want to eat. <laughs> <laughs> and so ends the story of Clutch Cargo and his pals, Spinner and Paddlefoot, and the mystery of the Northwoods. Be sure to tune in again next time for another exciting adventure with Clutch Cargo.